Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and in this particular video I am going to tell you what are the three steps of a signal transduction pathway. So the three steps in a signal transduction pathway, the first step is known as the reception, uh, the second step is known as the transduction and the third step in the signaling pathway is known as the response. So let us have a bit a uh, detailed discussion on these three steps of a signal transduction pathway. Uh, when you talk about a signal transduction pathway, uh, you need to keep in mind three important areas uh, of a cell. The first region is known as the extracellular matrix. This is the region which is present outside the cell. Then you have the cytoplasm of the cell. And the third important region is known as the nucleus of the cell. So these are the three important regions that you should keep in mind when you talk about a signal transduction pathway. Now on the surface of all of the cells, uh, a lot of receptors are present. These receptors are actually the proteins present on the uh, surface of the cell. And in the extracellular matrix, you have a lot of ligands. Uh, you can also call them as the signals. Uh, for example, these are the uh, different types of the ligands or the signals that you are going to see in the uh, extracellular matrix. So on the surface of the cell, you are going to see receptors. In the extracellular matrix, you are going to see a lot of signals. Now in the first step of a signaling pathway, which is known as the reception. Uh, so in this step of the reception, a particular ligand interacts with a particular receptor. Now this is important to keep in mind that the interaction between a receptor and a ligand that is very really specific because it is this interaction between the receptor and the ligand that is responsible for generating a particular cellular response. So you may see a lot of ligands in the extracellular matrix, you may see a lot of receptors on the surface of the cells but the interaction between a ligand and a receptor is also very specific. So specific ligands are going to interact with specific receptors to generate specific cellular response. So the first step is the reception where the uh, ligands that interact with the receptor. Now in the second step of a signaling pathway, which is known as the transduction, this transduction is going to happen in the cytoplasm of the cell and during the transduction, uh, different proteins which are present in the cytoplasm, they are going to get activated. So when the ligand that interacts with the receptor, the receptor is going to get activated and the activated receptor is going to activate a lot of proteins in the cytoplasm of the cell. For example, if this receptor gets activated, it is going to activate this particular protein in turn this activated protein is going to activate this particular protein in turn this particular protein is going to activate we can say a lot of other proteins in the end of the transduction uh, a transcription factor is activated now consider this as the transcription factor so at the end of the transduction uh, a specific transcription factor is activated now this transcription factor, as you all know, they have their roles in the nucleus of the cell. So these transcription factors, they move through the nuclear pore complex from the cytoplasm into the nucleus of the cell. Now when this uh, uh, activated transcription factor, it moves into the nucleus of the cell. This is the, uh, you can say, a start of the third step of the signaling pathway, which is known as the response. Now what happens in the response is that these activated transcription factors are going to interact with the uh, promoter regions of specific genes and when they interact with the specific genes this is going to uh, lead to the changes in the gene expression. For example, uh, let us assume that this particular uh, ligand that is interacting over here with this particular receptor uh, is a growth factor. So at the end, this activated, uh, acti uh, this activated transcription factor is going to uh, activate or transcribe those particular genes which are required for cell division. For example, cyclines are one of the uh, important uh, cells, one of the not cells, cyclines are one of the important proteins which are required for a regulated cell division. So these are the three steps of a signaling pathway, reception, 
where the uh, ligand interact with the receptor the transduction where a lot of proteins they get activated in the cytoplasm and the activated transcription factor in the third phase uh, of signaling pathway interacts with the dna thereby causing changes in the gene expression so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video